हेलो वी वन वेलकम टू आई सी ट्रेन सो दिस इज द एपिशोड टू अफ द लारबेल मेकिंग सो टुडे व्हाट वील गन सी हियर इज फर्स्ट अफ अल I am going to let you know that this is the episode two of the section that uh, to learn the Laravel from the scratch, and we are going to make the Laravel e-commerce application. So let's go towards the episode two. So this is the section. This is the work space section so where the work has been done. So I have opened the Visual Studio Code here. and the other one is i have opened the working folder here and another one is i am going to open the jamp here so that uh, it will run smoothly so let's talk about like let's go towards this section so before we start the episode 2 I want you to know that there are some fundamental things we should work on this. So the first thing is we have to know the model view controller. So the what the model will do, what the view will do, what the controller will do. So the mod model here is all the database we will going to see here in the all the database we are going to see here in the migration folder and what the model will do that the model will provide those database or we can say that the model will be like the connector uh, sorry this is not okay so here is here is the model one so here is one model called the user so the model uh, i am just showing you the example so in this model what will happen is the model will show or uh, the, the model will connect connect with the your the table your mysql table and it will show the it will connect with the database okay so the model is usually connect with the database okay so the what the, will the controller do is the controller will be in the http controllers and here is the controller one so h1 controller so the what the controller will do is here is like the controller will control the controller means the control control the sections of the model and all the logic will be in the controller okay so uh, i will give you one example after so so this these all are the middleware we will talk about it later so the for what the controller will do is the controller will control okay so so the all the logic should be in the controller so here is in, here it is not the so in controller folder what we'll do is all the logic should be in the controller okay and the view is there will be the resource and the view and in view what will happen is the view will show the view one so this is the welcome blade the what what is here is like it is showing the view blade so you can go to like sort this you can go and sort this so if you haven't checked out my videos the previous episode one video please check out the episode one video uh, if you feel uncomfortable on this video because uh, i have uh, in episode one i have uh, done all of the things like uh, the admin template and the front end template i have downloaded it and put it in these folders this uh, public folder so please check it out and please don't forget to subscribe the video so that i will be continue the next episode and the next episode and this is from the scratch okay so you are going to make it from the scratch step by step without anything without anything without anything skipping anything okay so so let's go here and let's do the php artisan sir what will happen is it will solve okay so the php artisan solve is it's like the is a short short form of the server okay so it is in hosting the local server so you can just copy it sorry okay you can just copy it like this one you can just copy it and you will just paste it into the into your local 
web browser okay the site can be reached okay so what we'll do is localhost 8000 sometimes it happens so let's go and check it out here okay sorry it has been like okay so so these things you have to know these other things so what happened here is like no such a file or directory unknown okay so it happens here and it showed that nothing is shown here so what's the problem here so we are going through the every step what will happen if the problem will occur okay so what happened here is in the learn e-commerce it hasn't showed the it showed that there is no file okay to open it okay so what you will do here is you will just check it out the folder and sometimes what happened the server file will be deleted by the this one this one's called the the bashed one so sometimes what happened is this these things usually do very bad thing you can just check it out what is going on here mm, okay virus just okay let's see so this this just happened what happened is it shows that the server at php has been you know deleted okay so you have to restore it and the add exception okay so what happens is is usually okay the server at php is restored okay so if it is not restored you can just copy from any one other 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 label so let's just restart it again so here i am going through the each steps so please don't forget to subscribe channel so that i can elaborate more and it will be support for my channel so okay the label is here okay done so today so this is the view okay uh, so today what we're gonna do is first of all after this has been done let's go to the laravel so i'm going to teach you how we'll just do it in the easy way and uh, how i i will also going to teach you that how okay so it is not connected okay so let's reconnect okay let's record okay so it is connected so let's go to the label swain point zero and what will happen is like okay this has been done so we will make one auth okay so auth authorizes authentication okay let's go to the authentication and let's see what it has been so <coughs> first of all we have to install called laravel ui okay so this package so i am going through the laravel 7.0 and it uh, also work on the 6.02 because <coughs> nothing much has been changed so let's go here and open the new terminal and let's paste it here composer update oh sorry composer update laravel ui okay so composer will update the laravel ui here okay so composer is updating it so it will take some time depending on your internet speed okay so if you haven't subscribed this channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel so that uh, it will be it will be like the if the channel will grow it will be easy for us to elaborate more and more and 
uh, it will be easy for us to make more new videos okay so it's updating and it will be depend on your internet speed and the computer is little bit slow than the new package owner like yarn of the js so i think um, the liable the liable company the liable the liable should uh, update this composer uh, through which it will run till fast so nothing to install or update okay this has been already done so it shows here so let's run this one php artisan ui viewer so previously what we we usually do that we will do that previously we have done like in the previous video or if you are familiar with the laravel 5.5 or 5.6 or 5.7 so in in there we usually do that we usually do the php artisan make auth but here for authentication we will using the php artisan ui view auth because the laravel has been changed okay so ui view or the command ui is not defined so composer install u laravel ui so so these things i have to do at the first thing but what happened okay invite argument label ui okay composer install laravel ui okay okay the problem is here okay invalid argument laravel ui use composer require okay so my mistake composer q u require laravel ui so you you are looking at this channel and i am going through each and every type of the mistakes i am going through so you you will see the you can also see the previous other videos and they are they are showing that they are usually show the fast track method and and then you will get a lots of problems so in this video or in this uh, series i am going to show you every step so the every steps what will happen uh, you will not get any error so therefore if uh, you like this video please don't forget to thumbs up and also share the video to your friends who are interested in the laravel so so this has been done okay so okay the ui has been done and then what we will gonna do is like php addition ui view auth okay so just click here okay this has been done so after that what we will gonna do is npm install and run pm run dev so it is just for the development version okay so for the production version you will be installing uh, or you will be saying that npm please run the production not the dev okay so you have to also know that npm install and and where is and okay and npm run okay let's wait for uh, for some time and so that it will be okay okay come on my internet is really slow man okay so it is taking time to install it so so if you haven't uh, subscribe my video i have told you a lot of time to subscribe my video okay so you can just uh, go to the youtube okay 
you can just go to the youtube and see my other new videos too if you want to like by the ict training nepal okay so i am promoting this one also okay so i have only the 81 subscriber here so please if you want if you want to subscribe please subscribe and make it like 1k or 2k just share it to your friends i have many video like like this episode one also the big data behind this what is big data peer programming so lots of video here free it course certification level 6 with admin lt you can just go and see here also so laravel uh, 6 with admin lt integration crowd and the other one so these are all things here so let's let's you can just check it out okay so the build has been successful okay the build has been successful you can just see the see here so it is success okay so what happened here is after it succeed what happened here is like here you can just see the see that um, auth uh, the auth had been made automatically here you can just see look at look at the auth okay so it has been made automatically here and in the migration file also you can just see in the controller also home controller it had been automatically here the controller used the control sheet okay so auth means the authentication okay you have to know that and um, for auth uh, i'll be discussing more in the uh, upcoming episodes so this has been done and just refresh it what will happen is so after refreshing this laravel what happens is like there will be the login page there will be the uh, register page so you can go with me okay you have to for more uh, you will know that how it will run and you will clear the concept if you will go with me running the code okay so so here is the login page you can just see here here is the register page you can just see here so the scaffolding the main thing is this reliable has been done they are automatically scaffolded those login page and register page but it is through the view so we have installed like ui uh, through the view okay so let's go towards the migration folder so let's go towards the migration where the migration folder okay so let's go to us so you can just search by typing ctrl and t okay pressing ctrl and t and just see the migration you can just migration folder okay it will be in the database it should be in the database okay so user table so this is the user table and for now i am going to do like migrate this user folder but uh, after that um, in the last what we will gonna do is we will gonna make like the authentication uh, of the admin and authentication of the user in the on the other uh, episodes okay so for now what i will gonna do is i will just do the open a new terminal and what i will gonna do is i will gonna do like php so what's going on here okay p h and now what's going on here it happens sometimes you know just to open new terminal okay so okay done okay this is the anaconda is open here but i don't know why you can just go from here also yeah I, there is a conflict because i have installed a lot of applications in my computer so php uh, artisan migrate okay 
so by this migrate what will happen is like it will migrate those tables okay so it will migrate those migration tables it will migrate those migration tables into the so into the like here you can just uh, local host you can just show and php my admin php my admin and what will happen is you can just see in the in this watch e-commerce okay so here what happens is the users so it is showing the users here so the user table is here we have just migrated that user tables and password reset tables and the migration is from the migration folder okay so this these things has been we all uh, we have been we have migrated these things so let's go towards the laravel section just register one like admin add oh sorry 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 i haven't like sort okay psp addition sort sort has been done and just like admin and admin at the rate admin.com password i am gonna put one two three four five six seven eight confirm password one two three four five six seven eight just registered it okay okay it has been registered and login as a admin okay so log out it and just log in it and just put admin and admin and just one two three four five six seven eight okay so what we have done is basically we have done the main page like and the other one is the back end page also okay so this is the basic one so after that what i am going to do is i am going to make like i am going to make put the back in uh, i'm going to make one i'm going to just uh, put my back end so for that what i have to do is i have to integrate okay so i have to integrate that so for that what i'm going to do is i'm just open this folder and learn e-commerce okay so in the previous sections we have um, downloaded and put it one admin backend okay so put it the admin backend here okay you have to know that and in the production section <coughs> there is a lot of things okay the login things and the index things what i'm going to need is the index one so so this one what i have to um, do is the in the first thing i have to just make it so this is in the um, html i have to run it by integrating in the laravel okay so i need to so the this the index okay so the production index so let's go towards let's go towards the public section and the admin backend and the production and in the index one okay so index.html so let's copy this so i am going to copy it okay so i am going to copy it with this one or ctl plus c simple things so let's after copying it okay so there is nothing is hidden okay so please follow along with me after copying this what i will gonna do is like i will gonna make one go i will gonna um, make one folder in the resource in the resource go to the resource and then go to the view okay so here's the auth layouts so home blade so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just make one folder called the website okay and in the website folder what i'm gonna make is like back end and in another one in the website what i'm gonna make like 
front end okay so in the back end what I will gonna make is like I will be making like mm, one file not not file sorry I will gonna make one folder in the back end called layouts so this is like so I'm doing it for my easiness and for your easiness you can just make like back end or layouts or anything but what you have to do is you have to do everything in the view section to show the view okay so to show the view you have to put your everything in the view section okay so in website back in layouts what I am going to do is like I will make one file called um, main dot blade dot php and I'll make another file also in layouts called the foot dot blade dot sorry foot dot blade dot php and I'm gonna make another one too called Mm, head dot blade dot php I'll gonna make one called footer dot blade dot php and another one called header dot blade dot php and also another one called sidebar dot blade dot php okay so in the main dot blade dot php what i will gonna do is like i will gonna paste everything okay so everything has been pasted of the index okay so of the index from the from the back in template and the template name is called gentilia gentilia admin okay so gentilia alayla okay <laughs> great title gentilia alayla and i found this one is the better one and it is fast too so after that what i will gonna do is i will just see here this head section okay so head section is here so what i will then do is i will just cut this head section okay so I will just cut this head section and here I will just say that include so this is the blade thing okay so this is the blade snippet and okay so in the previous video I haven't showed that like so so I will come in this include but before that in the previous video because of my net slow I haven't showed you the snip set you can just go here here extensions and you can just search the laravel okay and you can just you can just go here and install so i have already installed so it is uninstalled so you can just go and here and install everything you want to install it okay so i think this one is new or old i don't know maybe old or new so everything you want will be here you can just edit okay my net is running a little slow okay i don't know what happened here okay come on okay so everything you can just install here uh, okay i am going to the previous section i am going to cut this one okay so so in the include so i'm coming back to the include one so in the include what i will gonna do is like i will i will put the name here i'm going to put the name here what i'm going to do is like i'm going to put i don't know because what i just forget okay so let me remember okay 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 yeah okay done so 
I sometimes I forget okay so this is the coder life okay we usually forget and sometimes our mind will be like blank oh okay so website back in layouts okay so website dot back in dot layouts dot and the layout name called head okay so good okay, done so what will happen is what I, what uh, I am going to call it, I am I am just doing the normal thing so I just call the include and I just call the uh, in include means include means it it has it included the view section okay so after view what happened is like I have uh, said that go to the website back in layouts and head so this is the fun of the blade template we don't need to type dot blade dot php but here you have to type the blade dot php otherwise the label will not render because the label have the view the blade view so you can just go and show the documentation all the things you will get there like this include and the other functions okay so i will just uh, follow the link by ctl plus click okay and here it will open so the head has been open so i am just pasting here okay all the head things i just pasted here and let's go towards the main again and let's so this is the body one so okay Okay, the level one, level two, level three, I don't know, navigation one, nav bar, okay, lots of things here, okay. So sidebar menu, okay. So this is the sidebar menu, it has written the sidebar menu. So let's cut this one and let's do the include I and C L U include things again. Okay? Let's see the include website dot back in dot layouts dot and we will include here is like we'll be including the sidebar okay so what happened okay so name mistake here we have to just i have to just rename it to the sidebar this is on the slide bar this is the sidebar so just paste things here in the sidebar okay so i have pasted it in the sidebar so i have caught it let's go towards the main sections so i had caught it and the placed it in the sidebar okay so sidebar also done so footer 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 uh, this is the top navigation bar so so if you want to make one other for the navigation you can make it okay so i am not uh, interested on making that so my main focus on making the e-commerce so and the small small things you can do it. it it's easy for you to and you have to do something also for more like uh, experience okay so all of the script things okay so these all are the script things all of the scripts in what i'm gonna do is like i'm going to cut this one and here include include this one with the foot okay foot but before that we have to just specify website website dot uh, okay back in dot and the other thing is the like foot okay okay so so no 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 layouts layouts dot foot so is there a mistake like i don't know maybe website dot backend dot layouts dot foot is there any mistake 
वेबसाइट डॉट बैक इन डॉट बी एस के एन डी वेब एस आई टी डॉट बैक इन डॉट फूड लेट्स गो हेयर ओके ओके नो मिस्टेक सो लेट्स पेस्ट इट ऑल द स्क्रिप्ट फाइल सो दिस ऑल्सो डन ओके सो इन द फूटर सेक्शन ओके so this is like this is the footer section i don't know why it is so much okay so this footer section what i am going to do is like cut and include so if you haven't subscribed my video please don't forget to subscribe the video website dot back end dot layouts dot layout dot and the other one is called footer okay so i think the video is little long <laughs> longer than i thought to make it okay let's see this footer okay website dot back in dot include website dot back in dot layout dot footer so in the footer section you just paste the thing okay so it is, it is taking the time to render it okay so layout start footer okay done this is done so oh, sorry so so if you will do like this it will be your mistake okay? please don't do that so i sometimes i forget to do and okay the sidebar also head also and here is like the layouts footer foot also okay website back end okay website back end layouts website back end layouts that footer okay okay this has been done include include all of things are included and this is like done or not done i don't know let's see what happens after that so all of the things uh, we have we have just copied here everything but we haven't showed shown that so and uh, in the next episode i will show that uh, how to connect like the public folder or the css things and the other things step by step but uh, the i may be i think this is this should be the um, i think the this video is little longer than i thought uh, it made little longer but what uh, at last what i am going to say that before we pack up this video uh, let's go to the route section okay let's know more about route okay so let's go to the route web section and what the route means the route means it route okay so it is like a routing okay it shows the path okay so it is like the path showing okay so let's go towards it routing means is like it will be showing where your file is okay so if it's the laravel so this is the laravel and this is the things in the local host and this login okay so this login is the route okay so if you will go towards this and go to the register and the route will show the register okay so the login route and the register route are all all the things are in auth okay so i am going to show you some like the route thing so let's make one route called route so that will be very necessary without route we want to be going anywhere in your page okay so get route make get so there is the two type of methods in the get method and the post method the post method will be for making the okay i'll be making like dashboard dashboard and i will be calling like i don't want to call now okay so 
and want to call now in the in the other video i will be calling those so let's copy this one don't uh, i don't want to make the complication in this video so you we also have to be um going to the for the other episode also so i am going to pack up with this function okay so these are the two type of things we will be routing in this uh, by calling the controller also or we will be routing by this also so this is only for showcase okay so this is only for the showcase we will not use these things for all the things we will gonna be using these things okay so so i am going to make the clear about the route here by making like the dashboard okay so dashboard and i will come with uh, this one this one concept in the next episode please don't so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so let's go to the get dashboard and function one and let's uh, make what view called so this is the welcome so i want this welcome section uh, what i want is like website dot back end dot um layouts dot main okay so what will happen is it will call the main okay so it will go if you will go like do like slash dashboard the route will call the this section okay so the route had been called this gentilia at the section so finally we have got these things so if you have got some like um concept on this you can just do it for the front end also mm, just for your practice only so, mm, because i'll be showing it step and step for the front end also so this has been done but but what happened is all the CSS and all the JavaScript, all the things has not been loaded. Uh, it is because we haven't given the path for that, and there is something uh, we have to do it. So we'll be doing it in the next episode. Okay. So thank you so much for watching my video, and thank you so much for watching the ICT Training Nepal's all the video. If you have watched. And if you haven't watched the videos, please don't forget to watch also and don't forget to subscribe also and don't forget to like also and don't forget to hit the bell icon also, okay, so that uh, it will be motivate for us, it will be motivate for me along with me also for more videos, okay, so thank you so much, see you in the next episode of the Liable E-Commerce from scratch, okay, so thank you so much.